What's going on guys? My name is Christopher and welcome to It's Complicated, the show where I talk about and showcase wristwatches. So if you love watches like I do, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and then click on the little bell next to that and you'll be all set. Today, I'm going to be talking about the markings under a Rolex coronet on the Rolex crown. Here we go. So a couple of months ago, I was checking out my two Rolex watches and I noticed that both of them had different markings under the coronet on their crowns. One had a straight line and the other one had three small dots. So I did a little digging around to find out exactly what these markings mean and I did find some good information that I wanted to share with you guys today. It all really comes down to what type of technology Rolex is using to make that crown water resistant and what type of metal is being used. You see, Rolex uses two types of technology for their two different screw down crown systems. One is called a twin lock crown and the other one is called a trip lock crown. The easiest way for me to explain this to you guys what the difference is between the twin lock and the trip lock is the twin lock features two different gaskets to keep moisture from entering that watch's atmosphere and the trip lock crown features three different gaskets to keep moisture from entering that watch's atmosphere. Now the trip lock crown was not invented until 1970 so if you're thinking Submariners have the trip lock crown, newer ones certainly do but any ones before 1970 are going to feature that twin lock crown. So I've gone over the twin lock and trip lock systems, now I want to go over what the actual markings are on the different crowns. Okay, so the older yellow gold twin lock crowns featured a line underneath the coronet. So do the steel twin lock crowns. However, the newer yellow gold twin lock crowns feature two small dots under the coronet. The white and rose gold twin lock crowns also feature two small dots under the coronet. Now the platinum twin lock crowns, they feature one small dot under the coronet. Then you have the trip lock crowns. On the older yellow gold trip lock crowns and the stainless steel trip lock crowns, those crowns feature three small dots under the coronet. On the newer yellow gold trip lock crowns, the rose gold trip lock crowns, and the white gold trip lock crowns, these feature three dots under the coronet, going from small dot, big dot, to small dot. And finally, you have the platinum trip lock crowns. Now these feature three dots under the coronet as well, but this time it goes big dot to small dot to big dot. And that is what all the dots and all the lines mean under the coronets on the crown. It has to do with that twin lock crown and trip lock crown system. And really, I just wanted to give you guys some accurate information. I've seen a lot of pictures online, and I'll put a couple of them up there now, that just don't really tell you the whole story. It doesn't tell you that the older yellow gold crowns were different than the newer yellow gold crowns, etc. And I just wanted to give you guys a little more accurate information. You know, and I also think this is great stuff to keep in the back of your head. You never know if you're going to buy a watch pre-owned. You can look at that crown and think in the back of your head and go, okay, this is the correct crown for this watch. That would save you from maybe buying a fake watch or even buying one of those Franken watches. So please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you have the correct markings underneath your coronet on your crown? I'm sure you do. And that wraps up another episode of It's Complicated. Don't forget to subscribe to the show, like this video, share it with all your friends, and I'll see you next time on another episode of It's Complicated.